Alexa, what did the James Webb telescope detect that is heading towards Earth? From Gitbook.io, the James Webb telescope had spotted an armada of alien ships heading toward Earth at near light speed. They done did it. They done did it. You guys know what this means now? Do you know what this means now? That means that if any type of sicknesses or pandemic is enacted, the FEMA can come in and do what they want to do. What did we just do to our socials? I mean, when you're speaking on giving giving up our sovereignty, you've done a whole lot more worse than that. Did you know that while most of us are distracted by Diddy being arrested, that America's sovereignty is being given over to the UN, the WHO, and China? President Trump withdrew the US from the WHO, but the Biden administration reversed those policies when Biden got into office. The UN is holding a summit for the future where they will propose the surrender and the compliance of the US to the UN who are aligned to international globalists who hate America and are founding Judeo-Christian principles. The Biden-Harris administration plans to fully support those endeavors, which is why this upcoming election is crucial. For more info, watch the press conference given by the House Republicans and follow for more truth. This is a crazy scene from the new documentary from Russia with Lev. When Trump saw us, he greeted us like he always greeted us by saying, my guys, to me and Igor. And Igor secretly recorded the whole thing. And all of a sudden, the topic changes to Ukraine. Right now, me being me, I got into the conversation. Russia. Russia. How's Ukraine doing? Don't ask. <laughs> they, they love you, though. I realized that Trump has no idea about Ukraine. How long has Ukraine lasted a fight with Russia? No, I don't think it's very long. Like no, no, it's not very long. He has no idea they have oil. Ukraine oh, has oil? Well, yeah. Yeah. Was, number one in Europe. Yeah, we could. Ukraine? Yeah. Yes. So prior to us coming to the event, I heard all these stories about what was going on with the Ukrainian ambassador and that how she was, you know, a Soros plant and how she was part of the Clinton regime. The first thing that came out of my mouth is I said, the biggest problem there, I think, is we got to get rid of the ambassador. Is she still left over from the Clinton administration? Where the ambassador were Ukraine? I'm repeating gossip. I have no idea. I have no facts, no vetting. She's basically walking around telling everybody, wait, he's going to get impeached. He got angry all of a sudden, turned around to one of his aides and said, get rid of her. Okay? Get around more. Take her out. Okay? It was silence. The table looked at each other. Nobody knew what to do. Do it. So we all start clapping. Let's just go to show, man, all the stories of how, how, how Trump handles people outside of America, man, or people that might put America in jeopardy are true. Listen to what he said. Get rid of her. Get rid of her. I don't know how he's going to get rid of her because, look, if they say that he's unaliving her, that, that's all alleged. He could be just firing her. He's a businessman, man. He, he gets rid of people all the time. Justin Bieber's father-in-law. Watch and listen carefully. See, now, Hollywood, there's the way it is, and then there's the way it's going to be. See that there, Hollywood? There's the way it is. See that there, Hollywood? But tonight isn't just about the people in front of the camera. In this room are some of the most important TV and film executives in the world. People from every background, but they all have one thing in common. They're all terrified of Ronan Farrow. He's coming for you. He's coming for you. Look, talking of all you perp. You have heard the expression, the calm before the storm. There is always a calm before the storm. They're all terrified of Ronan Farrow.
there's the way it is. And then there's the way it's going to be. There it is. Take that to the banks. Take that to the banks. Oh, somebody can call as well. Take yourself out. Right. Here we go. There you go. Check it. Check it out. There it is. Beautiful. Scary at the same time. Look at that. Now look at that. See this? can't see it at first with my naked eye because I'm trying to look at the moon and the, uh, the camera at the same time. So check that out. Look at that. Like it's floating. There it is. Take that to the banks. Take that to the banks. <laughs> to my understanding, I thought we weren't supposed to see the two moons until like September 29th. Y'all let me know if I'm wrong. Do you not find it odd that the man who was executed in Missouri yesterday was in prison for unaliving a reporter who was at the time looking into the current governor of Missouri, Michael Lynn Parson? Yeah, Michael Lynn Parson, the one person who could have easily saved the life of Marcellus Williams. Well, back in the day, it was alleged that he may have been selling bad gasoline that hurt a lot of people. That's how he got rich. And just so you know, Michael Lynn Parson is the same guy who pardoned Tweedledee and Tweedledumass when they attempted to shoot you protesters during the George Floyd protests emphasis on tried. I'm just pointing this out because it could be ascertained that the one person who had the most power in this situation is the one person who had the most to gain from both unalivings of Felicia Gale and Marcellus Williams. And one could ascertain that somebody should probably investigate that. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know, after his execution, man, I went really, really deep into the case because you know i didn't really know what this lady did for a living um but tur turns out she was an investigative journalist and she was investigating the governor at that time because he owned some gas stations and the people of the town was complaining that he was selling bad gas that was messing their cars up so she investigated the matter but before she she was getting hot on the trail but before she could really put the information of what she found out she uh you know uh sadly lost her life and they were saying that the reason and how marcellus got caught up is because he was already in jail for a previous situation that he that had nothing to do with this so his cellmate at the time lied to the prosecutor because they had a ten thousand dollar reward out for anybody who came forward with information on the on the killer right so he went to the prosecutors and lied and said that Marcellus told me out his mouth that he killed the white lady and he was convicted from that point on and Marcellus girlfriend came forward and told the lie too but those people had they died later on and it was found out after those two people died the people that told the lie on Marcellus that they would have benefit from, benefited from the lie so that's why the lie was told in the first place. The case is dark, it's crazy. But I honestly feel like because that man lost his life and he was innocent and evidence showed that he was innocent and even the family of the victim said that, hey, hey, it wasn't him, so let him live. And, and the man still executed him? Yeah, that don't sound right at all. Oh, I got your ass now. What the fuck? Are we looking at here? Look! What is that? That is the World Trade Center. What are we looking at? We are looking at the St. John's Cathedral, the Divine, in New York City. This was built in 1892. I want y'all to tell me how did the Tartarians know about the World Trade Center? 
Those are waves. Those are waves coming over the city. Look at that. What do you think that is? That's the Brooklyn Bridge. It's broken in half. Look at that. There's cars falling off the Brooklyn Bridge. This was built in 1892. 1892. Are y'all with me? Are y'all with me? I know your brains aren't wrapping yourselves around it, but are y'all with me here? Look at that. This piece right here, I don't know what that is, but that has something to do with it. If that right there is the Brooklyn Bridge, right there, you see cars falling off, right? Look right here again. Let's go back over here. That's the World Trade Center, and look beneath it. Look, look. Those are Tartarian buildings, Tartarian structures, right there. Underneath the city. There's a Tartarian city underneath New York, and now I know, because my people told me. Look, it's 1892. How the, do you even know we're gonna build that? And look at the water. There's a wave of water crashing, knocking all. Well, it ain't hard to see that a lot of the stuff that's happened or the major events that's happened in, in, on this earth, man, was already planned. See how it bulges? So what that simply means is the thumb represents the will. And notice how it's bulged in the top part, which is the will. And I tell people, I've had clients who had that thumb configuration and I tell them the first thing they do is don't become friendly with alcohol, particularly if they are fire signs like Aries and Leo. Sagittarius, not that much, but Aries and Leo, I know this. And um, or people born on the 9th, the 18th, or the 27th of the month. Here's what I mean. This will be people who will go into a raid, and then when they snap out of it, they done did damage or kill the person. That's what they call the murder of stump. And it, of course, over the years now, they've just, just said it's a bulbous stump. But I want, I tell all of my clients whose hands I see, obviously, that one, drinking should be kept to a minimum, especially under stressful tension or argumentative modes, because they will snap out of it. They will just snap. And by the time they come to their senses, the deed has been done. There are some differences too. Now here in this case, you see two thumbs. One is bulbous, one is not. The one on the right is what a regular thumb should look like. The one on the left is the bulbous thumb who could lose their temper very easily, all right? And it also depends on the headline of the person too. See, now in this case, both thumbs are bulbous, all right? So to me, that really emphasizes it even more so that this person should definitely uh, keep their cool, don't you know react and stuff like that i think i got a bold thumb y'all can see it eyes ain't pointed like this they kind of bold but i'm no killer man i'm a lovable person but anyway i have a brother that fingers are made just like that and yeah that dude is thrown off i ain't gonna even lie so it might be some truth to what he's saying right now in the next 24 hours joe biden and keir starmer the Prime Minister of the UK, are about to meet and discuss lifting restrictions on Ukraine to do deep strikes using NATO sophisticated cruise missile systems inside Moscow. Let me tell you why this is very concerning. It's very concerning for all the reasons that I've mentioned in my most previous videos that I would encourage you to go and check out. I'm not going to get into the day X decapitation strike hypothesis here but just keeping it 100 in terms of the most uh, short-term likely outcomes of such an event and how it could definitely amount to a nuclear exchange if Russia permits NATO to utilize these weapon systems some of which can be nuclear tipped if Russia permits that, then they have to assume, they have to assume, if they're being prudent, that 
NATO could potentially fire a nuclear weapon at them. If they allow NATO to fire these missiles into their country and they don't respond to NATO, then NATO will only continue to push the boundaries. It's crazy how they can go over there and sign some sort of agreement to lift restrictions for people to make strikes, which further advances war, but can't do anything to help this country. It's like this can depend on the testimony of the child accuser. In general, uh, the child will be able to recall and recollect with some look, detail. Look at look at her. She was on the Michael Jackson case. She wanted to put him away. So this explains why Janet Jackson said what she said. The incident, and that is persuasive to a jury, even if it is the only testimony that is available. Jackson gave a wave when he was released after booking. He's scheduled for arraignment in January. Michael's been a longtime resident of Trump Tower, and last night the Donald strongly reiterated his defense of Jackson with Larry King by going after the accuser's mother. She's had plenty of experience at going after people, and she goes after them viciously and violently, and I saw a story and I read another story about some of the things she's done, and I don't believe it. But you know what it's like when an indictment comes down. It's tough. There's presumption. He's it's tough. It's tough to win, but I have a feeling he's going to win, Larry. The interesting thing is I've known Michael from many different standpoints, and Michael would spend a lot of time with my kids. I have beautiful kids, and at the time, like at Mar-a-Lago, and even in Trump Tower, the kids were very young. Michael would come, play with the kids. He just loved children. He was not a child molester. Apple just announced that in their next upgrade coming this fall, that they're gonna actually put chat GPT on every iPhone to collect and analyze all the data of yours that's flowing through an iPhone if you're using it. We did a side-by-side -side test between our phone and Google and Apple's. <laughs> the Google and Apple phones seem to wake up between two and three at night and they have this huge, like a 50 megabyte data dump that is sent out from the phone every night, sending off your preferences, everything you've done that day. Average kid in America, by the time they reach the age of 13, has had 72 million data points collected on them by big tech. Wow. Using that advertising ID. Wow. Each, each Google or Apple phone has a, like a 32-digit advertising ID. It's a code, and some could call it the mark of the beast, that follows that device around everywhere. And that's how the tech companies track where that device goes to figure out proximity for advertising, sales, and who you're interacting with in your schedule. So again, we did Unplugged as a way for people to still communicate in the world, but not be giving off to people that really don't like them. Some people are sheep and want to live like sheep and be treated like sheep. And I, I, the, the, you know, not everyone is a sheep. I never seen enough in the sky in my life. Look how bright the sky is. That's Am I tripping? Fake. If I'm tripping, tell me I'm tripping. I, if I'm tripping, tell me I'm tripping. Well, what is that? I ain't crazy. Promise y'all, I ain't Now, come on, y'all. Not y'all know. Okay, so, um. Okay, America, I'm not, I'm not trying to scare absolutely nobody. I think the only reason why I'm saying that to you is because I'm trying not to scare my damn self because I'm terrified. Okay, so what what's this what's 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 about to happen is, um. Them little main ports that, you know, all of our goods and food and essentials and all this other bullshit, right? 
There are 45,000 workers working on that motherfucking port. The main port, I think they said it was like, this supplies about half of the country. So, and I'm still looking on it. I don't know if it's the whole country or half the country. I'm still looking. But, at the exact same time, 45 of these, 45,000 of these motherfucking workers are going to go on a strike. And ain't no ifs, and ain't no ands, and ain't no buts about it. They're going to go on the motherfucking strike. And let me tell you how devastating this motherfucking shit is. This is why I have to look further into this shit. So, one day of them striking, one day, one day of them striking, it will put you seven days back. Just off of one day of them being on strike. Imagine them being on strike for a week, a month. If y'all thought the country is fucked now with inflation, try dealing with inflation plus an ultimate as fuck food store food shortage, supply shortage. Uh, is anybody ready to move the fuck about this country? Cause I am. Cause like, what, 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 what the, what the, what the, what the, what the, what the fuck? Yeah, that might get crazy, especially when there's a shortage on food. That means that the supply and demand is gonna get crazy. Which means they go out to charge more, as if we ain't already paying more for the food already. That's interesting. Yeah. And y'all know exactly what this means. Yeah. 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 It's crazy that that many people supported the cause, man. And he still went through with the ex execution, man. That's crazy. ridiculous man no i gotta give god all the glory and just say thank you for the blood of jesus christ because demons are real you guys lord thank you so much for bringing this amazing group together right now with this amazing stream and our amazing teams lord we are all from the same place and we are all trying to get to the same place which is the top end we are we all want to experience different things in our live chat so thank you so much for bringing all of us together and i pray that you allow us to grow on other people on each other and i pray that you allow us to reach any measures in his life and you watch over us daily you bless us you allow us to bless other people with our work and our amazing craft and you help us enjoy this night in jesus name we pray amen based off of the level of discernment that i have and what i know that is an agitated demon so while the entire world is distracted with mr p diddy's indictment i was wondering why all of this attention was put on this specific case and why would the media and the world cause everyone to look this way while there was something huge going on that way and I found out what it is during this same day that all this everyone's reporting on the diddler did you know that 23andMe every single director and CEO in this company has resigned now why would the CEO 
and and the directors of this company resign at a time like this well 2024 is the year of disclosure and when you tell a certain group of people that they are from a certain place and that information could possibly not be valid but the only way you validate it is through a company like this stuff is getting ready to hit the fan and i think you know what that is this is crazy it is a, it is a distraction pay attention to this I'm not but you know what's funny it's funny that he's a distraction not to only one thing but a bunch of other things going on that's why i don't believe that it's a distraction because i just find it odd that it's all happening at the same time i mean but it's all real stuff it's nothing a distraction people acting like these allegations have been brought up on p diddy a couple years ago no since the early 90s they've been saying this about this man we are in so much fucking trouble Clarence Thomas is looking to get rid of OSHA. For many of us that have worked in food service or um, the blue collar industry, OSHA is a huge fucking deal. OSHA is important in every single job, obviously, because they were created to ensure safety for the workers at any given job. So it's like, it's OSHA's job to make sure, you know, like they'll come out to a job site for construction workers and make, make sure the uh, uh, stuff, certain things are being provided for those workers. They'll also make sure those workers aren't doing certain things that are against the rules or that will be unsafe, blah, blah, blah. This is next level horror movie shit. They are looking to make sure that everything is unregulated so that way a totalitarian style workforce is possible. You, you have people working in conditions that are poorer than poor and nobody can say shit. To give you a quick example, OSHA just approved a new type of construction helmet. And they basically phased out the old construction helmets in favor of the new ones because they're safer for workers. Without OSHA, you wouldn't have people reviewing these things and updating them. You wouldn't have worker safety in mind at all. People dying in the workplace would just be a normal everyday thing and nobody would sit there and go, how can we prevent this? We are in so much fucking trouble. And as a reminder, Biden is just letting this happen. According to the Supreme Court, he now has the powers of a king and he is doing nothing. He will do nothing to stop this. Garen fucking Kiev, he will do nothing to stop this. Biden and Kamala. Let's not forget Kamala or Kamala, whatever her name is. Let's not forget her. I got that information about Congress, people in Congress being briefed about James Webb. People are being told that they spotted an object that is not natural because it course corrected um, that is allegedly approaching here. There's been some significant rumors of events regarding UAP that may occur within, you know, like 10 years or so. I don't know if it's something coming or a natural disaster. You hear of something big coming down the pike. Have you heard of these claims? And if so, do you have any idea what it may be? Yes, I've heard of them. Yes, I'm aware of them, and I'm not able to have that conversation. Let me see if I understand this correctly. There may be something headed for Earth. A, a non-human object, potentially. Is that the theory? I'm, I guess that's, it's all allegedly, but we're, you know, spitballing. That's what they're, that's what I was told, that they're telling people in Congress. Throw back to 2020. When this happened. That's not Kamala Harris. That must be must be the Love Light Bears. That's not Kamala Harris. You guys are gonna go. 
It looks nothing like her. Very deceptive to the voters to send body doubles out. Well, as y'all can see, still crazy stuff going on in this world and it looks like it's getting worse and not any better. So what do we do about this? I don't have the answers. I'm pretty sure you don't have the answers. But all I can do is tell you is to get prepared, protect your family, brief your family. That's all you can do. That's what our reality is, man. And I could rant all day, but I won't. But like I always say, do what you will with that information. And hey, if you like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload. Hop in the description, follow all my social media. And remember, challenge the argument and not the person.